Welcome back to the channel guys. As you can see, we're in Manchester Ikea. We've come this week to try and find some storage ideas for our motorhome. Um, we, we know we have seen things in here before, tubs, but hopefully we can give you guys some ideas as well, what you can get from Ikea for your motorhome and for anyone who's living full time, some tiny space ideas mm. because... In your motorhome, it's fairly tiny, isn't it? So. <laughs> it is, and you've got to utilise every inch of your motorhome. So let's go inside. And let's go and check out the food. No. Well, it is. It's coming, and it's what? coming very fast, isn't it? Baubles. That's one thing you can't get in your. Mind you, we did it last year, didn't we? We put a Christmas tree in our van. A little one, though, wasn't it? I yeah. know, but we did it. We showed you you can really decorate yeah, yeah, your van yeah, for yeah, Christmas. Yeah, check that video out because it will soon be that time again, won't it? Comes really quick. Mm. So we're going to have a look around, aren't we, and uh, find some stuff for tiny space and living. Yeah, let's go and see what you can find for your motorhome in Ikea. And there is one specific thing we're going to buy because we've been doing a bit of research online, um, an, an induction cooktop. For, yes. For we're going to go electric because we only use one gas ring anyway, don't we? Yeah. So, yeah, we'll go and find those. Look for induction hobs. Mm -hmm. The first thing I found that I think is really, really good for motorhomes are these plastic plants. You can't, I mean, you not even you can kill these, can you? No, they're not for your head, Mark. I feel like David Bellamy. <laughs> but these plastic are really one. good. You can put them in hanging baskets. You can put them absolutely anywhere. There's a, a thousand and different ones at Ikea. So. You don't have to water them, do you? No, no you don't have to water them. We, something that I can't kill. So yeah, I recommend these all day long. How much are these, Mark? I don't know. Yeah, you do. Pound. So they're called Fedgkas. So look for your Fedgkas. Seven pounds. They did used to be a lot cheaper than that. Yeah, well. Things have gone up, I think, in our case. So this is another yeah. thing I want to see, just a, a, a price comparison to what it used to be like, yeah. to what it is now. So yeah, get your plastic plants and decorate your van. So like we're on about the Fedgkas, there's absolutely loads of ideas in here. There's even more on here. You can get the little pots. Look at these for two pound. Perfect. What are you doing? That's for a pint pot. That's not a pint pot. That's a Slapping flower pot. Flapping upside down. Well, five pound for that. And we bought a little bag with us, haven't we, from last time we came? Yeah. yeah. We always have. We always have bags yeah. for our kids, don't yeah. we? So they're good. These bags, aren't they? So another great thing we've got one of these for storage is. Not a tray. These, they are called Dimper and they're only three pounds, but look at these. You wanna open that up, Mark, and yeah, show I us? I mean, they are for big shopping bags, if well, you Well, no, they're good for duvets, sheets, pillars. Put in, they're not a vacuum bag, but the zip, so The zip, the zip up so they keep all your, your, I mean, excess clothing. Yeah. Perfect, isn't it? You and can put, if you've got room under your garage or in, in your garage, you can the, put them in there. Under a seat in your van or your motor. Yeah, yeah. And you do get quite a lot in them. They do do different sizes, but these this is the size that we prefer, isn't it? Yeah. Three, three pound. You can't go wrong. So we've just come across these. If you've got kids in your van, even for Mark with his laptop, look at mm. this. So you open it up, you've got oh, compartments and stuff there. You can get a laptop in there. Yeah. It zips up. You've got a tray there. So you've got a Chinese tray off, you? and it's like a lap tray as well. Yeah. So you can do your work on there as well if you're working or mm. if the kids want to do any drawing. That is an amazing idea. How much are those ones, Mark? £12. £12? I think that's brilliant. You can take it anywhere you want with you, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Look at that, look. Look at that con conduit for putting your wiring in, tidying your wiring. Can you see it's split all the way down? Oh, yeah, so no. So if you've got loads wires, of wiring, yeah, you just put all your wiring in. So. How much is that? Uh, <laughs> fiver. And it's five metre length for that, so that's probably more than enough. That's what it's called. Rabolder. Come on, right, yeah. I know people prefer black, but it doesn't matter, really. It's all right, that. So the whole thing with tiny living as well is storage. Storage is key. Getting the bright storage and getting 
plenty of things put away. These are fantastic. As you can see, if you put them in cupboards, it makes it easy to get your hands into. £3.50, absolute bargain. piece of fantastic storage we've just found you can put these in your wardrobe anywhere you want in the bathroom if you've got space but they normally go right to the floor out these like a half one like you can even put little drawers in them if you want to nine pound absolute bargain and they're really sturdy as well for your utensils it'd be all right wouldn't it oh yeah actually that'd out. be absolutely perfect because it's got holes in it so i can put um my scrubbers in there cloths washing up liquid so we could mm. put that on the where the sink is attach it so yeah. with some command strips command strips or something can't we yeah how much are they how much are they Two four more. pound aren't they no let's find how much they are Two pound fifty bargain Sorry, we'll have one of those put it in the bag sold <laughs> soft furnishings beddings duvets cushions ikea's got the lot look at all this lot we've already done our van this for this winter we've got our fleecy bedding and all our duvets and pillars but if you're looking for anything and i mean anything if ikea hasn't got it it's they well don't stocked, do it. It? it is well stocked look at them all look and the all. prices are really good these cereal bowls are big they are, they're not cereal bowls they're like a fruit dish aren't they they're like putting fruit in yeah fruit bowl mark <laughs> not a cereal bowl look at that little double ender what you can't for? you can't have a double ended brush you're gonna you're gonna how do you clean a toilet with that what's it for put it in the comments below because i haven't got a clue then weird put them on the rail in your wardrobe and you can get multiple things hanging off them instead of having all like that in hangers so these are really good these are 75p so get some food Yeah, what are you getting? I don't know. Yes, please. Do you do chicken fried rice? <laughs> All right, can I get some uh, some meatballs, please? And some chips with that, thank you. What are you getting? Nothing, I'm not hungry. Any like a baby jam? Uh, no, thank you. Anything else? That's uh, it. That's it, thank you. Chips on that. Uh, chips, please. Peas and gravy? Uh, yes, please. The best part about coming to IKEA, you always have to get some meatballs. And we do vegan meatballs, at least, I think, as well, don't we? do, yeah. And fish and chicken schnitzel.
no induction hobs. We're really, really struggling to find them. Plenty of candles. Plenty of fetchka as well. Look at all these fetchka. <laughs> Look at all this lot in front. Well, we're the idiots. We've completely missed them. We've walked around the full length of our Kia, got to the end, we can't find them. them. Just asked a member of staff, says you're going to have to go all the way back to the top floor. Ugh. And we're going against the traffic as well. It's not that busy, actually. So. No, there should be a lift here somewhere. So, yeah, like the numpties, we've ended up in the lift. We're right down here. We need to be right up there. How come we miss that? I know, because someone wanted Swedish meatballs. I wanted chicken fried rice. So we've found these, we've had these before and we've actually got them in the motorhome now. Again, they've got the little cup out so you can get your hand in and out of them, but they're perfect. They're really, really rigid, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Look at the price on those. 375. Some bargains at Ikea, aren't they? Stop for a store in an organisation. Actually, I can get some more for mm -hmm. the fridge. Yeah. want some for the fridge as well, so we're going to get a couple of these today because I'm sick of everything falling out of the fridge every time we open it. This is getting beyond a joke now. Every single piece of kitchen we can find. Can't find the induction plates. We found them on display. Yeah, they're everywhere on display, but we can't find one. And there's no staff anywhere. A few moments later. I've seen someone go past me with one in their hand and we've just asked them, guess where they are? We would have never found them. They're completely hidden, aren't they? Yeah. Found it! Yeah! Do we still want one? Yeah. expensive all this isn't it right so after the dilemma and drama of the induction plate it's time to treat ourselves I'm gonna get a hot dog you're not you're gonna get a cake aren't you no hot dog. well I'm getting a cine, a cine bun and yeah, a drink yeah. I need it after all that it's all right work isn't it coming to Ikea I've got a sweat on mm. top tip for you when you've been to Ikea don't go to the restaurant and pay more. There's always a there's always a cafe on the way out. Hot dogs, 75p. 60p. Cinnabons, 60p. Coffee, a pound. So we've just got a little snack because it's took us about 10 days to find that induction plate. Bargain. So yeah, get yourself to the little bistro on the way out of uh, Arkea instead of going to the restaurant. Save some money. Brilliant. Whee, so we're done. We've got everything we wanted to get, finally. Bag full of stuff. Bag full of goodies. We'll take them back to the motorhome and we'll probably show you in the next vlog what we've done with them all. Uh, looking forward to getting the induction hob up and working. And it is going to be working with something quite special, isn't it? Yeah. That again will be in the next vlog. So until next time guys, I hope you've liked what you've seen and I hope we've helped you with your tiny spaces in your motorhome. Um, please like, comment and subscribe. Come and visit Manchester Ikea. It's a lovely place if you've nice got day out, isn't it? You get some 10 hours. <laughs> and we do plant bowls, don't we, as well? If you need a food review, see Mark. But other than that, we'll catch you on the next one.